What is up, Packeteers? I'm Caleb. I'm Theory. This is a Dell PowerEdge R410, and we're gonna water cool this bad boy. All right, so how did we come to having this? Uh, actually, we went to Le Boncoin, where we have found out that uh, they were uh, selling it for, let's say, um, it was 170 each. I don't remember if it was in Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's probably like a thousand euros now. <laughs> uh, we picked this up on Le Boncoin, which is a, uh, it was like the French Craigslist. It was 170 euros each. We got three of them. One of them's gonna be mine, one of them's gonna be yours, and one of them's gonna be Christina's because she so uh, generously allows us to do our shenanigans in the house. So the only thing is, this is a great server. This is a 12 core, it's got 24 gigs of RAM. It's, you know, it's, you can't get something that cheap, uh, except that the company was just recycling it. Uh, it's got four one terabyte hard drives. We can just replace them at any time. It's a, a beefy, Beast. The only problem with it is that it is loud. It's very loud, and that's what we're going to solve today. I'm going to show you how loud it is. So, obviously, we can't have this in the house. Now, what are we going to do with these servers? So, obviously, I host a number of different websites. I host Packet Cache, I host the Block Explorer, Packet Chat. Um, obviously, we're going to do a little bit of uh, packet mining. Um, what are you going to run on your server? Uh, I think I would just use, use it for storage. I, I do some photography for hobby, and, uh, so for, for stuff. And um, this, for people who are wondering, we're in France, and France is a land of cheap internet and cheap electricity, and all of the heating in this house, for example, is electric, and because the electricity here is just so cheap. So, vive la nucléaire and vive la France, and uh, we're gonna run this server. Now, we've got odds and ends, we've got a bunch of butt connectors so that we can connect the hose to itself. So, this is all ordered, this is all custom. Everything that we order here is custom, and this is a custom job because you just can't use regular uh, water cooling equipment on a server where it has such a low profile. So the plan here is we're going to install our water coolers here and we're just gonna run the hoses out the back and we're just gonna leave a little bit of extra hose on the back of this thing and then we're gonna be able to plug that in to a, a custom water cooling kit. So what do we got for a kit? We, got, we picked up this thing, we picked up this kit um, it's got a radiator, it's got a pump, it's got a little bit more hose, we've got some fans, we've got everything that we need to cool water. And so we're going to be cooling the water with this kit, and then we're going to be piping the water into our servers using this equipment over here. So, let's take the top off this thing and get into it. made for easy access, quick access for your data center technicians. We've got our two processors, 24 gigs of RAM, and these are the things that we're gonna be water cooling. Now, this is a very special case because no standard heat sink fits this bolt pattern. It's a very custom bolt pattern specific only to this server. So we're gonna to need to do some special stuff here. So we're going to take off this heat sink, that's the first thing. It's a little bit sticky with the uh, thermal paste, and that screws and all stick stuff. Now, this is very important because your standard heat sink is going to have holes where bolts come up here. The, the bolt goes through, but this being a custom server setup, this has bolts that go, come up from the bottom, and then over on here, on the uh, on the heat sink itself, you have internal threads, and the internal threads are grabbing that bolt. This is not something you're going to be able to find a, a replacement heat sink anywhere for this. So we're going to have to modify this in order to be able to mount our heat sinks. And 
next step is, in order to do this modification, what we're gonna do is we're going to drill two of these bolts, and we're gonna drill straight through from the back of the chassis in order to replace these with the ability to add our regular bolts. Now, so we're gonna be doing some metal cutting. The first thing we need to do is get the motherboard out of this machine so it can be protected. sharp edges. Do that on the other side and then we will be done with the metal aspect of this project. Okay, now we're done with the metal working aspect of the project. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to wipe down all the chips, get all the chips, uh, metal pieces off and far away we're going to vacuum of the metal. Electronics because it only takes one little metal chip 
getting between an important piece of electronics and that's uh, that's the end of that server. So we've got a post in the corner, we need to make that. And test fit. This is what it's going to look like with this guy here. And these bolts are going to come up through the bottom. And then we're going to strap it down with this strap. Now these bolts are already cut and they are not long enough. I'm going to get some of the originals before they were cut. Strap these down. That's what it's going to look like. This is our water cooler. This is our strap. And that is it. And it's too tall. So because it's too tall, we're going to need to cut these bolts but we're gonna to need to fit everything exactly right before we cut the bolts because we need to cut them at exactly the right height. This is almost impossible to do. The, uh, the height here is, we, we're right on the edge in terms of height. We take a straight edge, put it across here, and you can see there's very little space to go on. You only got this much space and this is what we're gonna to have to cut off the top of these bolts in order for us to fit. But we're going to do first, we're going to put the two of these together in the, the, the way that we plan to have them. And then once we have them together, then we're going to identify where we need to cut the bolts and then we'll cut. So we're going to do it just with the washers and nuts. And that looks like a good fit. Go. Now, let's just see if that cover will fit. Voila. So now that we've tested the cover, we know that we can bolt this one down. We're going to put a couple bolts down the bottom just to support the screws so that they're not flopping around. We're going to take these nuts off. Because we're ready to fit these for real, we're going to take the protective plastic off of our water cooling device here. Run of piping. Now, we're going to need one more coming down here and one more coming out and then we're just going to loop it around and come out there. So. We're going to leave a, a generous bit of extra piping at the end because we're going to need to, uh, we're going to want to hook this up using a butt connector to our, our uh, water cooling system. Tight. 
definition of tight when you have plastic threads is kind of a complex one. It does have to be enough, but not too much. So, now that we've got this thing fitted, we're going to switch gears and we're going to move to building the water cooling kit so that then we can just plumb these externally to the water cooling kit and we're going to do this for the two other servers as well. So, we've done the install on our water coolers. We're just going to with our battery and then we have a little bit of excess which we'll trim this and we'll be able to use this excess right here. So on this episode we did water cooling on a Dell PowerEdge 410 and we got the straps installed with the water coolers. It does fit under the lid and uh, we got it all set up and plumbed and we are ready to put water to this thing. So stick around because on the next episode we're going to build the water cooling kit and the water cooling kit is what we're going to use to keep this puppy cool. So stick around and see you on the next one. Thanks guys. <laughs>